Hello and welcome to the video by Trumpixel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use is formulas in Excel. Is family of formulas is very simple yet really powerful set of formulas to check for conditions and as the name suggests it will check and return either a true or a false. So let me show you how it works. The first formula in this category is is blank and as the name suggests this would check for a blank cell. In this case I give a 2 as the cell. You can see it takes only one argument which could either be a value or a cell reference and I close the bracket and I hit control enter and this gives true because a2 is blank. If I type something here, if I type my name then this returns false because now this cell is not blank. The next one is is error. This checks for an error in the cell and if there is any error be it division error, not available error, name error, reference error this would return true and if there is no error then it would return false. So now when I hit control enter this gives true because there is a division error here. This is a very important formula if you are handling errors and you do not have 2007 or 10 or 2013. So in versions prior to 2007 there was no if error formula and then is error became very important because this can be used to handle errors. A slight variation of is error formula is is NA formula and this would only check for the not available uh, error nothing else. So in this case let me select A4 I close the bracket and I hit control enter and this returns true because there is a not available error here but if I copy the division error and paste it in cell A4 then this returns false because this is not the error we are checking for. We are checking for an NA error and this is a division error. So if there is an NA it returns true else false. Next in line is is number and as the name makes it very clear this checks for numbers. So here I select A5, I close the bracket and I hit control enter and it returns true because this is a number. If this is not a number then this would return false. Variations of is number is is odd and is even. Is odd as the name suggests returns true when the number is odd as in this case A6 has 1 which is an odd number so this returns true. If there is an even number as in case of A5 then this returns true else this returns false. If I put in a6 here, a6 here then this returns false because this is not an even number. What happens if I put a text here? Let's see I type hello and both these functions returns a value error. So in is odd or is even or is number formula it's important that the value or the cell reference you are, you are keying in here is a number. If it is not then this would return an error. And the last in line is is text formula. It will check whether your cell has text or not and if it has text then this would return true else this would return false. In this case I'm selecting A7 which looks empty and I hit control enter and this returns false because there is no text in this. Let me type some text into it. I type hello and as soon as I type hello this returns true. Now let me also show you something very interesting. I will type equal to double quotes which means I'm telling the cell you should contain nothing but I'm still mentioning it using equal to double quotes empty double quotes and I hit enter. Now this cell has nothing but this still shows true and, and now if I delete this this shows false. The reason is that even if you type equal to double quotes Excel consider this cell as text and it happens with me a lot of times that I import some data or I download data from some of the databases and it gives me blank rows but those are not blank that have that equal to double quotes. 
So this formula is text formula is really helpful in checking for those cells and then you can manually treat those by deleting these values. So this is how is family of formulas work in Excel. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.